Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am super excited because today we're going to be doing another period product review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Salt Soft menstrual cup. But before we get into that, I want to not only talk about, but also thank today's sponsor, which is the Pill Club. If you've not heard about Pill Club, Pill Club is an online service where you can not only get birth control shipped to your house for free, delivery is free, but you can also, in some states that allow it, get a prescription written for you without having to go visit a doctor's office. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking, why do I need a service like that? I don't understand. I can just go to my OBGYN or my gynecologist and you know it's as simple as that but there's so many people in this country who don't have insurance or even the best of insurance to be able to have affordable access to birth control and sometimes that's not an option for them so what I really like about the pill club is that they can provide affordable birth control for just about anyone not only do they accept most major insurances but they also do accept select Medicaid which is amazing when I was a teen mom I was on Medicaid I got pregnant at 17 you know I didn't have affordable insurance Insurance. So if you do not have insurance, the nice thing is that the Pill Club makes birth control super affordable for you. I have a friend who actually, before I even signed on to do this campaign, told me that she had just ordered her birth control, which she had already received from Pill Club, which I thought was pretty cool. She didn't have insurance available to her to go see a doctor, and she was able to get a four-month prescription mailed to her door for only $20, which is awesome. So not only do they provide affordable birth control sent to your door, but they also send little surprises with your birth control. So I do have a little sample pack of what you can kind of expect if you do order through them. On the outside, there's like a sticker thing that says, you're cuter than a corgi butt, which is so cute. It says to Kelly from Jasmine and the Pill Club. How cute is that little dog sticker? I wanna like put this somewhere special. Should I wear it right here for now? It's so cute. Just so you guys know, I'm not on birth control. I do have my tubes tied, but I was on birth control for a very, very long time because of heavy periods and other health issues. You guys know I have endometriosis. Um, and luckily my mom was an OBGYN nurse practitioner, so I did have access to birth control from a very young age to help with those things. But again, not everybody has that luxury. So I just think it's awesome that services like Pill Club exist for people who need it. In here, this little package, this is so cute. They send some um, chewy, fruity, organic candy chews, sour by Torian Howard. They also sent a condom, which I am all about STD prevention. You guys know I worked with the American Sexual Health Association last year on a video talking about STDs. I'm a firm believer in protection, safe sex people wrap it up. I don't need this because again my tubes are tied but I could probably find somewhere where this will be of good use to a friend or family member. But there's a pencil that says make your mark on it that's super cute. Another sticker that says still I rise. I have a little blemish mighty patch invisible patch because your girl breaks out on her period even though I don't need this birth control. I'm super excited about all the goodies because I my back is breaking out real bad right now. And then they also sent a Bio Nude Natural Moisturizing Personal Lubricant because you know what? Sometimes you're dry down there. And then also a TCHO chocolate, which I actually really love these chocolates, so that's awesome. Another sticker, actually, I think this might be a window decal. It says Toast to a Butter You. And then some more stickers. So these are some of the goodies that they send with your birth control, which is awesome. Just to make your time of the month a little bit better. Though I don't know what's better than having affordable birth control delivered to you. Um, again, if you don't have insurance, they can offer birth control as low as $3.99 a month. Awesome. That was one thing that my friend said, which is like, I don't really care about the free gifts. I don't really care about whatever. I'm just excited that I got four months of birth control for $20. I'm older than probably some of you guys, but I remember a day where birth control was really hard to get to. It was not very affordable for people who didn't have insurance. So um, $20 for four months is huge. And last but not least, Pill Club can provide you with an emergency contraceptive if that is something that you need, which again is super awesome. I know I keep saying that, but every single time Time a company comes out that is empowering for women like Pill Club, being able to take your own health, take your own birth control, take your own body into your own control. I just get super excited about that. Being a young teen mom, I know firsthand how important it is to have access to things like this. With how the country is going right now, birth control, emergency contraceptive, like to be able to have that so readily available to people who need it, 
is just amazing. So I am super excited for today's sponsor. Thank you, Pill Club. I will leave a link to their website underneath this video. Again, if you need birth control and you have insurance, you have Medicaid, you don't have insurance, go check them out. Affordable birth control delivered to your door. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. All right, so now that I've talked about our amazing sponsor for today, let's get into the review of the Salt Soft Cup. So the packaging is pretty much the same as the original Salt Cup. The only difference is that the packaging is a little bit more beige, so it's like a warmer cream. Still the same amazing recyclable cardboard packaging. You can still see the cup through the little viewfinder here. Obviously, this is the cup that I used for the month to review for you guys. It comes in a size small and regular, and the color is mist gray. So the difference between the Salt Soft Cup and the regular cup is that the salt soft is obviously softer. It's for people who have issues with the regular cup who may be a little bit more sensitive when it comes to their bladder or any other reason or maybe just needs a softer cup in general because you haven't had kids and you know firmer cups may be uncomfortable for you. Now for me I use the regular cup. You guys know I love it. I love that it pops open super easy. I love that it stays in. I love that it's comfortable. I love everything about the regular cup. So I I in particular did not need a soft cup and was a little bit concerned about trying to review the soft because I've had three children. I'm very active and though I do kegels and I believe that I'm you know okay down there like I've said in previous videos I've grilled my husband and asked like are you sure it's the same after every kid and he said yes. Um, I feel like I'm fine down there but I don't have a need for a soft cup necessarily. You guys know I love the Schoon, but the Schoon is not for days where I'm very active. It's not for days where I am, you know, gonna be walking a lot. Like it will fall out on me because it is so soft. I do like it for days of lounging around, however, and when I'm not doing anything just because it's super comfy. Um, and I have pooped out the scoon. Let's remember that. I was in DC and I've almost pooped the scoon out in a public restroom. So um, I don't need necessarily a soft cup or a sensitive cup because I've never had is issues with the bladder with the salt cup. However, with that being said, I wanted to review this for you guys because you guys asked, Salt reached out, and I, you guys know I love the company and I'm always happy to do a new review when it comes to things and people that I like, which I like you guys a lot and I like this company. So everything about the Soft Virgin is the same in regards to size and shape. The only difference is how flexible and how firm it is. I will say that it is definitely softer. It is not so soft that it will collapse on itself, which is really nice. I will say compared to the Schoon, which is my softest cup that I use and own, I will say that it is actually a little bit firmer. It's weird. The bottom is about the same in my opinion, but what's firmer is this lip right here. The Schoon, at least mine, and this is where I have a hard time talking about and comparing softness and firmness of cups because I do believe they change a little bit over time and also everyone's opinion or everyone's feeling of how soft and firm things are can be different. But for me, the rim of the Schoon was a little bit more pliable and a little bit softer than the Salt Soft, which I really enjoy because one thing that I really love about the Salt Original and what I have you know, constantly told people is that I love how easy it is to open. It pops open really easily. It's pretty dummy proof. When it comes to first time users, I'm always like, the Salt is a really good cup to start with. So I do like that the they didn't really soften the outside a ton. The Schoon, like I said, is super, super soft, has a different kind of opening and lip, so it's a little bit more difficult to get open for me when it's up there. So I, yeah, so I'll say that. So as you guys know, if you're familiar with these videos, I do use these cups. I do document every single day of me being on my period. I do show you my real blood and all of that, but I also do a recap at the end for people who do not want to see blood. So I only show my blood for educational purposes and for people who feel like it is helpful to them in regards to seeing how a cup works. So that is coming up right now. If you don't want to see it hover, skip to the end and you can see my final thoughts on it and kind of who I would suggest this cup for and whether or not it worked for me. But again, forewarning, this is where I will go in to sharing my experience using it and also sharing real blood. So warning, 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 skip to the end, which I will leave a link underneath this video if you want to do that to watch my final thoughts if you do not want to see blood. My period just started, so I'm gonna go ahead and I already opened this to like show you guys and take pictures of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and boil it. The packaging is exactly the same except for it's got like a more beigey 
color into it. I love Salt's packaging. Like whoever did the packaging is just on point. Like it's so nice. The cup itself, well, I probably already went over this in the intro, so I won't talk about the cup itself and all of that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and boil this and stick it on up and see how well it pops open. That's been my only issue with softer cups is that they don't wanna open very easily. And you guys know the one thing that I appreciate about soft cups is that they do open really easily with the punch down fold where you, you know, literally just punch it down like this and then push it like that and it pops open in me. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how easy it is to open this one up since it is softer. But um, yeah, let's stop talking and get this clean because I'm literally bleeding right now into my period panties and I need to get something up there. We are in the basement bathroom and there's really no good place to set you while I try to put this in where you can still see me. Till our upstairs bathroom is done being remodeled. Please don't fall in the toilet. Oh my God, you guys are gonna fall in the toilet. If it suddenly goes dark, it's because you've fallen in the toilet and I'm screwed because this is my nice camera. We're remodeling our upstairs bathroom. So back here is a disgusting mess because we're literally using our half bathroom for everything right now. I hope to have a finished bathroom by my next period video. Let's all cross our fingers. Donate, donate, donate. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, donate. My videos have helped, uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a working bathroom upstairs. But I washed my hands, boiled my cup. I'm gonna try to stick it in. Luckily I have a dress on today, so this will be a lot easier. And again, like I said, I have my period underwear on because I knew I was gonna start soon. Flow was like, literally the Flow app was like, hey, just to let you know, you're about to start your period. So I'm gonna use my tried and true punch down just because that's what I usually use with a salt cup. Like I said, punch it down like so. And we'll see how it goes in. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit nervous just because usually with softer cups, I have issues getting it to open with the punch down. That opened fairly easy. And it's literally under my cervix and in place. That was really easy. But what did I expect? It's salt cup. Of course it's easy. Huh. I can feel it. Like, I can feel a fullness down there. It doesn't feel like it's dropping or anything. But I can definitely feel it. It's like it's sitting a little bit lower than the, than the regular cup does. But it's not uncomfortable. I can just feel like I need to like like <laughs> do kegels to kind of squeeze it to get further up maybe. Let me try to push it up. It's like, I just want to push it up a second. Like, ooh, don't fall. I'm gonna stick my finger back up after I just wash my hands. See again, this is why I wash my hands so much. I'm gonna push it just to see if I can get it to go a little bit further up. Let's let that marinate for a little bit. That was the wrong word to use. Let's let that sit for a little bit and see. Um, but I can feel it. Like it feels like it's dropping down. Oh, that background's killing me. I'm gonna clean that up. Um, I feel like it's a little bit like far down. Like I can feel the fullness, but who knows? Let's wait and see. I've had this in for about five and a half hours. So far, so good. Like I've peed twice. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel like it was restricting my pee, which is really good. I will say that there is a weird, a little bit of like fullness down below that I feel like I've been, I've been aware numerous times during today that it's been in. Not like overly bothersome, but like I've just been aware that it's there. But I mean, it's not uncomfortable, but I do notice it. Like maybe it's sitting a little too low, but my cervix isn't sitting low. So I don't know why it would be doing that. I don't know, but let's go ahead and pull it out and see what's going on. Okay. And there's no blood in my underwear. And look at that, it caught some blood. Um, and all the blood is on the inside. There's not a single amount of blood. There's not a single amount of blood on the outside. It's all, as you can see on the inside, that streak right there is on the inside. Oh, I took the dog for a walk with Kaya and again, it like was fine. Okay, so that is not around my cervix. Now it's around my cervix, okay. That went in really fast, really easy, opened really quickly. It almost opened easier than the other one. Like it just kind of slid in and like popped open and molded to where I needed it to be. Because it's softer, I was able to like adjust it up or under and around my cervix 
Like I felt my cervix, I was like, oh, that's on hanging on the ins outside of it. And it was really easy to just kind of maneuver it out because it was so soft and malleable. So that's actually a good thing. Good morning. So it is like 9 a.m. It's been about 11 hours since I had the cup in. I will say that I can feel the cup. Like I said, the last few clips. And part of me is kind of concerned that it might want to keep dropping. I mean, it hasn't yet, but I'm just a little concerned. So I'm actually going to yoga with a girlfriend and Kaya in like an hour. So we'll see, we'll see if it falls out, but let me check it real quick. All right, I got some clotting going on. I just got like a long string of clotting off. That is my nighttime bleeding for my first day on my period. My second day is usually my heaviest, which is right now, so that'll be interesting. All the blood is on the inside. There's no blood on the outsides, which is really, really cool. Um, I would say that's a success. So I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna rinse it out, put it back in, and then we're gonna see how it does for an active day of doing yoga in the morning, hanging out with the Kiki, and um, yeah, let's see how it feels. I really hope it doesn't start falling out. That's like my worst fear because we're doing yoga outside and I don't know if there's gonna be like a rest, I, well no, I do know, there's no like easy restroom to go run into and like shove it back up. So, we'll see. My battery's about to die and we're at an angle, but I just really want to quickly check in. It is 9.30 and I put the cup in, well, like 9.30 this morning. So it's been like a full day. I went to yoga and after yoga, I did a bunch of yard work and stuff. Didn't empty it, nothing. Uh, took a shower even and then watched a movie with Kaya and still no leaking in my underwear, nothing. Um, every once in a while I can just kind of feel like it's a little bit full down there and still really no leaking. So let's go ahead and check out the 12 hours of bleeding. All right, so there is the blood, it caught all of it. There's really no blood on the outsides of the cup, that little string that's like outside, that was just from like a blood clot I just had to break off. As I've mentioned in the past, I have had an ablation. So um, my bleeding is nowhere near heavy like it used to be. To give you some insight as to how heavy I used to be, I had an ablation which is supposed to like make your period super light. For a lot of people, it's supposed to make them actually go, actually go away for like years less than a year after I had my full ablation done and he really fried the crap out of my uterus because he knew how heavy and bad my periods have always been. Less than a year later, my period was back full blown and I was super heavy again. And then it wasn't until switching to reusable menstrual products that my period lightened. I will say one of the things I have noticed during this period, even though I do like right now, again, I feel kind of a little like the fullness at the bottom, like I kind of feel like it's there. I will say that the one thing I haven't had this whole period, which I've had the last two, has been cramping. So that's kind of cool. All right guys, so it's morning. I'm gonna do my last update on the salt cup soft, just because at this point, it's the same thing over and over again. So I will say last night, I did get up at like midnight to go to the bathroom. Kaya was staying up super late. I think it was because she was looking for the tooth fairy last night. So we slept in a lot. It's actually noon, so I've had this cup in over 12 hours, which I would not suggest doing. You're not supposed to do that. I'm gonna pull it out real quick, but like I said, I woke up last night, went to the bathroom, and when I wiped, there was a bit of, 
and when I say a bit of, I mean there was actually quite a bit of blood on the toilet paper. So, I don't know, let's see what's going on. So as you can see, that wetness, there is act, there's been active bleeding in my underwear. Now I would say, okay, that's because I, you know, had it in for over 12 hours, but like I said, when I wiped last night, there was blood on the toilet paper and I readjusted it and it's still been leaking. So it's not a crazy leak though. So that's a good thing. It's not a crazy leak. My battery's about to die. Holy cow, let's see if I can quickly get this update done. And then there's blood on my toilet paper. It's dark blood though, which makes me think that it's been blood that's been sitting there. I, I don't know, because I've been laying, but again, I, it's, yeah. This is what I mean by clotty. When I'm like, I have a string, I have to get toilet paper so I can show you guys without it like getting everywhere. So there's the blood. There's really not a ton of blood on the outside of, I mean, there is some, I will say, there's blood at the bottom right here and there's some on the outside, but it's all dark, which makes me think it was just blood that was already coming down and in my vaginal walls. Um, but as you see, it did catch most of the blood. So I did have leaking last night. I did have leaking in my underwear, but I, that's my, that's a, here's the thing. I don't, I've never once had a cup where I've not had leaking at one point. So what that what I'm trying to say about that is that like not every time do I get my cup in perfectly. Not every time does my period behave or my cervix behave or my vaginal walls behave. Like my period and just me, I'm just different every single cycle. I'm different every day, you know? So um, no one's 100% perfect all the time. And that's kind of how it is with my period cups and stuff, which is why I wear period underwear or a period thong as a backup because I know sometimes stuff's just gonna go a different way. Same with tampons when I use them. Like that was the same thing with those. Same with pads. With that being said, I don't think that's a negative thing about this. I just want to make you guys aware. I did have some leaking, but um, yeah, that was, that's all the blood. So it worked. So now I'm in day three of my period, which um, this is when my period starts lightening up. For a lot of you guys, I know you're gonna be like, that's 12 hours of bleeding, but again, please remember, I've had an ablation, which was supposed to help with my super duper heavy periods, um, and I've been using reusable cups now for years, so, or reusable products for years. So, with all that being said, and also being healthier diet, healthier exercise, with all that being said, there's reasons why my period is so manageable now. Um, this is what I think a period should be like. This is how, I think this is, if we're gonna say what is a normal period, I think this is what a normal period should look like. And I'm finally experiencing them after a decade and a half of just being miserable. So, yeah, yeah. So if you watched the clips with all the blood, you already know how I feel about this cup, but I really, really like it. I tested it out. I did yoga in extreme heat. I did headstands. I did a lot of stuff with this cup in and it didn't budge. It popped open really easily, which that's kind of what I was trying to get at in the beginning when I was comparing it to the Schoon and why I prefer this over the Schoon. It's because the rim, even though it's softer than the regular salt cup, still had the easy pop open rim. So I really, really, really like that a lot. Like I said, I was pretty active with this cup in in regards to doing low impact activities like yoga and things like that. Um, and it worked per and it worked perfectly fine. I will say, however, I will not and would not trust this for when I do my hour long soccer games with my women's team. I don't think I would run more than a mile or two with this in just because I don't trust it to stay in me for activities like that. But low impact things like just swimming in the backyard, you know, with my kids or again doing yoga, this thing was perfectly fine. And again, I was bending and moving and just like doing a whole bunch of things that I didn't have any leaking whatsoever. One thing I did have an issue with this was I could feel it. And I mentioned this in those clips, for some reason I could feel feel it and it wasn't too big because it's the same size that I wear in the regular and the small would have been too small for me and I did actually I don't know if I have the clip from it but I did go between this and the regular one in the same size and I was I didn't feel it with the regular one but I still felt the soft and my theory of why is that the firmer regular salt cup sat higher I don't know why exactly because they should suction the same and I did push both up the same way. 
um, the firmer one just the firmer one just set higher and that could be because you know it is firmer and it opened and was like solid up there who knows but that is something that I experienced was being able to feel the bottom of the salt soft and just like kind of being aware of it in my vagina and in my body um, especially when I was going to bed when I was just kind of laying there and I didn't have anything else to think about except for the fact that I had a cup in so in regards to feeling it I did feel this one a little bit so there's that but again it was comfortable I don't know if that makes sense but I just wanted to talk about that since that was an experience that I had all in all I think this cup is gonna be really amazing for people who have bladder issues. I don't know how it's going to work for people who are sensitive but also are super active and athletes. However, just because again, I trusted this in low impact but I could tell that if I really pushed it and was again like do sprinting, playing soccer, running an 8k, I know that it would start falling out. I definitely could poop this out if I wanted to. That was another thing. But for people who aren't doing high impact sports or running really, really long distances, I think that this is gonna be a really great cup for you if you do need a cup that's softer. I will be encouraging my daughter, who's a teenager, as you guys know, my oldest, I will be encouraging this to be her first one. They did send me an extra one and they say small for her. Um, Cause when she's ready, I really want her to try it. And I think this is gonna be a great first time cup for her. Because again, it is on the softer side and it does open so easily. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. I hope that answered any of your questions. I do think that this is a better option of a soft cup if you are having sensitivities than the Lena and the Schoon. And again, that's just with my personal experiences just because they again have found a way to make a softer cup that still opens really easily inside of you. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I know SaltCo has a really great team of people who, you know, try to answer questions online. They also have a lot of resources on their social media. Put a cup in it who collaborated with them to make this cup is also somebody that you can go to and talk to because they know all the ins and outs because they collaborated with this cup. So there are tons of resources out there if what I've told you guys already is not helpful. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to the Salt Co team for sending me these cups and giving my daughter an option to try when she's ready. I want to say a big thank you again to Pill Club for sponsoring today's video. And I want to thank you guys for continuing to watch these videos in my channel and supporting me and my family and also keeping an open mind and being so supportive to others who watch these videos as well. If you enjoy videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you've tried any of the salt cups or any other cup that I've mentioned or reviewed in the last couple years and let me know how you like them. I'm always interested in knowing what cups people end up gravitating towards because I just, it's always just interesting to me. It's like, oh, I'm so excited that you like that. Or I'm like, oh, I'm wearing that cup right now too. We're cup sisters. I'm really weird. Yeah, leave, leave, yeah, leave that below if, if you want and subscribe if you want to see more videos. You guys know I'm not just a cup lady here or a period lady here. I do all sorts of things. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching as always and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.